survive rather than play into kind of take the initiative. Something that we've seen all series long from them up until it mattered most, up until it came to the final chapter of Ancient. Now here in Anubis, they need to reset. They need to remember who they are and they need to remember what they're fighting for. A chance to qualify through to the first Counter-Strike 2 Major in Copenhagen. And for Atox, the dream is very much still alive. Absolutely. Now we're getting the T side, which can be a boon on Anubis. Greyhound have had their struggles on pistols lately. Not so much in this series, but see how they do here. Ends with a smoke and dual berettas. Imagine that's going to be the A main. And a three man setup in towards middle. This is aggressive. Greyhound thinking about pushing. About taking the initiation. We're getting it right from round one. Contact play. Mick holding for it. Was a talisman for Atox on Ancient. And is now looking for more. Gets domed by Alistair. And now the control needs to be fought back. Accuracy will trade. But it's Vexai who's now stuck between a rock and a hard place. It's just Kabul's Glock's bullets that meet the fate. What a shot to Vexai. Gets almost pre-fired on by the bullet. And Dexter was gushed. Atox's patience rewards. A double peek onto Liaz, begging for one of these USP shots to connect. But they are going back to Ian's. The Danger Man with the dual Berettas, and it's actually Liaz's USP that finally finds purchase. And off that kill, they've sent back, they've seen two players on A, and Dexter, he can't defend B. No, he can't. He just has to make sure that he can be in a position where he can at least guarantee this information, and he will get it. Molly prevents Liaz. Smoke allows the cross. The bomb can be planted. It's a free on free, but it's difficult. There's no kits. There's no util. The smoke's been used. And the T smoke is going to allow them to extract themselves. Two flashbangs as well to set up in the post plant. Greyhound are going to group Dexter behind this smoke. And oh, Cabal continuing his dominance. Three kills, Liaz gets one back, but look at his health and look at the time. No chance at all, Atox take first blood. Yeah, really nice pistol from Atox. Greyhound, they're trying to set the pace, they're trying to set the tempo, taking this map control away. Mick is the early warning system. And from there, it's all Cabal. Able to deal with the mid threat. Dobu's poking and prodding in towards A, which keeps the rotations at bay. And from there, Atox gather the necessary clues. They've got enough utility to get them into the site. <laughs> Second shot's ridiculous. I think they lined up, actually. Insane pistol round. That's him in AK and Atox. Against this force by Alistair. Goes down to the USP of all weapons. Accuracy uh, saved for an orb. Yeah, that's prioritization. USP, best scout. That's insane. And now Mick takes space, applying pressure, and yet again, finding out the stack. Atox can just commit in towards A. A nice force fight. What Atox is saying, I think it's nothing to them. Gone perfectly. Back 10 finds the kills as well. Couldn't have hoped for a better outcome if you're Atox. And now the hope is just to save. Save the Kevlar. Save the pistols. You're not investing anything into the next round regardless. It's an MP9 scavenged. An MP9 and a Max 10 gives four players something to work with. You can buy some armor. Get the SMGs on two players that have got head armor and a bit more. Interesting not going for the scout, but just keeping the SMGs there and wanting to keep quite mobile. I think also part of it is didn't want to extend any further. Terrorists win. But a great start from Atox. Greyhound's pistol woes continue to be a problem. And that blowout that Atox inflicted onto Tai Lu, that didn't even come with a T side. That was 10 rounds on that CT. I haven't really been given a flavor of what to expect in these high pressure games from Atox on their attack. But we know that their defense is incredibly potent. And again, Atox with intent are going towards a, a soul defender is here. It's just in with this 
SMG. Backside's got an aggressive into thinking about going through this smoke, but thinks better of it. That AWP that was prioritized is out. Smoke blown in's revealed, but remains safe. Good space being taken. It's the USP player as well, so you can act as a warning system and you can send the rest of the quote unquote weapons over to A. Yeah, at least uh, there's going to be reinforcements. They're going to be here in time as well. Atox are slowing the pace down. They're really trying to make sure they're in the best possible positions. Util sets are about to flow in. For the party, it's going to be welcoming. Sure, not the best equipped, but the quantity of them, it could be enough. Zesta will find Inns, and now Liaz and Dexter trying to do the damage. But it's Liaz on the 5-7 with three. He gives Alistair a chance in the 1v1. It's just the USB, that's all he has. And he's being accounted for. Oh, but he tucks on through the reload. Oh, Alistair can't believe his luck. And what a round to win. It's all Liaz. It's all Liaz there. Nice work. Five seven doing the damage. You can hear the Greyhound roar because that round is of such significance. And now you question in the back of your mind is, where did Atox go? Why did they take so long to execute onto that site? Now look what it's done. That orb that you prioritized under accuracy. It's a Tech Nine. Alistair gets his upgrade. A round that they really had no right winning. But the information is perfect. And in they go. Into Alistair's waiting grass. However, Dexter has fallen. And Ali's feeling the pressure, but no. He applies it right back. Zesta thought he could get around the angle. But Alistair is on one at the moment. Just the leg shot. And accuracy picks back up his weapon of choice. But now he has the clutch. And Vexlite playing around the smoke does everything. Come on, boys! Fuck these cunts! Oh, it's a, a little bit aggressive there. Bit Aussie pride. Yeah, classic Aussie. But look, you got, you got to kind of get the morale up. <laughs> Strong round from Vexite. Greyhound draw level the scoreline. As they reclaims this orb, money gone. No bomb plants and a few rounds for Atox. They're just on pistols. much how the game against Gigi Hal went for Greyhound. It was losing those first couple. Once the rifles came out, it felt like they had every answer ready. Rotations were on point. Bit of noise being made in towards A main. Based out the orb shot in. Actually doesn't swing until they're gone, but now he's going to find that kill. Backside often playing these pivotal positions and Given a lot of responsibility with them, and yeah, swing straight into the clock. Double dink. Gives Mick the M4. Shouldn't be an issue though. You've got two players on each side. Even if you get split, all angles are locked down currently. Should be no way in. Has to be pure contact. We've already got the setup. Liaz can just come on the swivel. Dexter tested. But it's not too much of an issue. In with the nays to follow up. This just feels like a little bit more of a formality. Mix in a decent position, but Alistair's holding with the all. Yeah, potential to swing though and find him. Alistair is isolated. I mean, Inza's position should lock off the bomb at the very least. And with Alistair confirming that kill, the round, and this crossfire, it's basically done. That was great awareness from Alistair as well, right? Falling back into that line where he can catch the player that starts to crawl towards bricks. Good job, guys. Nice, yeah. sure. So, no issues against the pistols, other than Vexite getting caught off in mid. Now, Atox will get another opportunity with their rifles. So far, they've just shown intent out the gate to go over towards A and B. It's just been kind of straight up gunfights into these two sides of the map. And ultimately, that's what Greyhound want. They want a scrap. They, they want to have these fights there. They want to be taking the forward thinking on a lot of them. Alistair swing in, but it's accuracy that gets the jump. The peak from the right-hand side reveals Alistair first. And it's a good opening find for the AWPA. 
Okay, now the position can be taken through Dobu and Greyhound's response is to push out B Mega. He's being held by Zesta though. He's fully aware of this play. Oh, and he's done everything. Both kills. Now Dobu can just cut off the rotations with this recovered orb. I, I believe it has been heard by Vexite, the pickup. So Vexite's so aware that he's here as each player is crouching after each other. It's like a little dance on the other side of the doors. This one is going to be a third for Aatox. Evening things up. Yes, uh, a little bit tough there as well for Vexite because where you have heard that scope, you can't really move uh, until it's too late. It also just means that the players can just safely walk their way up towards B and then ends everything that he's doing. It's completely isolated. They had to group together and maybe take control over towards mid, but it just felt very simple there for Aatox. They were just winning out the fight. They were waiting for Greyhound and it was some delicious yeah, shots from Zesta. The exit kills for Ian's, but all he's going to find. The Ops get their first gun round. And the score's back towards even, but Greyhound off the back of three. Both have a reasonable economy, but definitely in a reset territory. This round becomes incredibly important for them. Yeah, this is dangerous. And I'll tell you what, the, the utility could potentially for, for tail maybe a little bit less of an aggressive stance even with these smokes being dropped because you haven't really got the flashes to set yourself up this is a change of pace atox they are running straight in towards a they want accuracy to take the space and take the contact p9 revealed man accuracy no issues in that shot in swings for the trade and actually does find it it's a little bit scrappy he gets the job done is the pathway through. Oh, accuracy. What is that shot into Dexter? Now Ian wants to go forward, but Mick is already ahead of it. And they, yeah, they need these weapons. Yeah, absolutely. Just clean and uh, a nice change of style in the round for Atox. They've been recognizing that Greyhound uh, are quite proactive on the map. So you send players towards A main. As soon as you get that space, you kind of realize that Greyhound are probably either going to be pushing mid or pushing over towards B. So you get the AWP set up on the angle and they're not ready for it. Nades caught in hand and accuracy doubles down. Really important opening for Aatox. And it feels like normality has resumed for them on their T side. They're not really being disrupted. There needs to be careful. Zester is about to swing, but he's ready for it. So we'll hold on to his AWP. <coughs> T side is where you expect these teams to get most of their work done. I see. Yep. Stamp through. Reveal Dexter. Great full positioning from Mick to secure the round. And we just see Greyhound win a round uh, on Ancient where they had the. Pistols around to save weapons. I feel like this one might be a little bit tricky. It's actually impressive just taking a look at Atox and the individuals that are performing. We've seen really Mick come into his element alongside Zesta on Ancient. But Accuracy is now leading the line here on Anubis. Every single player is coming up with contributions. It's a different one. Nice kill. Hoping for more, knowing that there could be a stack. That's a team oh, no. kill, and that means that Leas takes advantage of it. Yeah, now you've got the player advantage. Alice says AWP is still in play over towards A as well, but Dobie has found a good bit of space in towards middle. Well, comes back, and Dexter with this recovered AWP. Oh, gets the information. A smoke through, and Alice there finds Dobu. Aatox again, struggling in the rounds that you expect to be a cakewalk. Three USPs and two saved weapons are looking like they're undoing. Cabal swings, Liaz is ready for it. And Zesta might have performed a masterclass against Tai Lu, but a 1v4 here versus Greyhound. Surely not on the cards in this position. Oh, he is going to come forward. So Zesta is given an opportunity, but now Alistair can lock down that line. This is going to be heard, and Dexter is all. Should be ready for this fight. If he misses the throw, no, never mind. Dex is ready. That's unfortunate, really. 
for Aatox, the, the fact that there's a team kill in the mix, they're going in towards the stack, they're really trying to investigate it with one of the rifles, which just feels a little bit like an overcommitment. And as a result, Liaz knows as soon as that orb kill comes in on a teammate, he can just swing. He can take the contacts. If he gets that kill, that ultimately completely facilitates the rest of the round to fall into place. Also, good communication from Greyhound because they've still got control over towards Dark. They've still up three players on B. Alistair really needs to be aware. That is so unlucky for Mick. But ultimately, that's the downfall of the round. Yeah, for all the plays of praise of accuracy, it's this round where he ends up kind of costing his team, but you can't really blame him for that. The swing did come through with the rifle and for the shot, but Mick swings right in front of him. And I don't mind Mick going in there solo, looking for information, looking for kills. But it's accuracy being that close with the orb and being so easily able to be traded can't really fall back because he's a bit further to the left. Now we have Atox, some upgraded pistols, getting ready to hit the A site. It's something that they've been thinking about all game. It's a site in which they've also often led with the orb. They've been trying to gain a lot of control over here. You see the Greyhound already, they're trying to set themselves up for flash plays. Mid temporarily left open. You have got that quick support of Inns, but as he burrows his way deeper in towards the bomb site, there are opportunities. Yeah, Inns is just checking it momentarily, seeing if anyone's walked on through. Also, maybe hoping for an aggressive play out through main that didn't come. Also, it does miss his shot as Mick jiggles the angle. Flashbang is going to force that Deagle back. Atox this time are now going to reset over to B, but this presence over at A hasn't deterred Greyhound at all. Still three players on the side itself. As I say, that Vex site does start to come back to help out mid. It's the lack of utility for Atox that really doesn't sell the fake further. Inters is going to come and check out. That flashbang movement was heard. Vex fires off a shot, but Dobry's Deagle finds purchase. Vexite comes back to support. And Dexter, he's making that orb sing with three in the round. And despite Liaz falling, it's all good for Greyhound. Yeah, smiles start to reinstate themselves across the faces of the Greyhound players. Because they know, look, they've broken the economy. They've won a couple of rounds that they're not supposed to be picking up. And five rounds already are on the CT side of Anubis is a very solid foundation. Uh, a lot of teams obviously get the majority of the work done on that attack and for Aatox, for all the hard work earlier, you're right. Similarly, as it was with GG Howe, as soon as the guns come into play, Greyhound are on top. We saw for accuracy. Vexite hasn't shown that much of an eagerness to peek, although as I say that, starts to come around the corner, gets his dink, but it's not the kill. The HE will confirm. Ins has to drop the incendiary. Mix ahead of it, and he's forced into the fight. Despite the flashbang, he was caught between a rock and a hard place. He's still got Alistair in the site, who's not known yet, but has been showing his presence over at A pretty consistently. Now he's known, drops the flames, peeks straight into accuracy's angle. Yeah, this is good structure here from Aatox. Again, they're not really doing anything too tricky to force these repositions out of Greyhound. It was actually Greyhound that forced Mick into that early fight. A two on three, Liaz interested in it, but has to wait for the support of Dexter, who's still wielding a sniper. Incendiary goes deep. Displacement, but it's accuracy that holds firm. Dexter gets out of there just about. But he is being hunted down. He's able to deal with it. Do you have time? He has got a kit. Accuracy stuck around. Well, at least he finds some kills on his way out. He won't survive this, though. You got to wonder, accuracy, if he got a little bit further, there was a chance. It's actually an important kill he finds because he does deny the AWP now. True. Take, take, take a look at the money for Aatox, sure. Dexter does ultimately lose the round, but Alistair can still afford to buy a sniper and accuracy can't. And accuracy was the linchpin of this round. He's creating a lot of opportunities for his team. This second one. Alistair just peeked straight in. 
Accuracy really did all the work here. And he's been doing a good part of the heavy lifting in this map so far. 12 for 6. Up off the board. Back to A, back to the control. Or Aatox, however, there's resistance this time. Alistair, who's been by and large over towards this bomb site, this time's far aggressed. Fantastic flash from Mick. But I've been saying that all series long, but he denies the orc. And actually, potentially, can have one. And it's a double layering in the flash as well. That deep smoke, not to mention, means that Inns is isolated and, and can't help. Normally, when you've got that orc M4 set up, the idea is if the orc gets flashed off, misses is their shot, that's when that M4 can swing and get active, but the smoke was so disruptive. I like that from Inns, he's just been flashed forward in towards A main, gets the info, that there was no one initially there, and that means basically the Greyhound don't push out towards B main, a position that Zester was holding for and has previously been rewarded for doing so. Now they're playing retake, or at least denial. Dexter has been given a Heechee to go alongside his incendiary. If they go for that plant, he can throw that forward. So he's very deep. I think with a lineup that he can throw on him. Goes on forward and it's perfectly timed. In fact, the spam is even better. Further spam damage onto Mick, unconfirmed. They continue to fight this. There's a way in. Inns has found it. Dexter swings on around and they are locking them out. Long range spray from Dobu doesn't connect. And you might get the bomb down, but it's only a brief reprieve from Greyhound's aggression. Yeah, so much disruption there. A combination of the spam and the utility. And it was day one in which Mac highlighted this on the decks. That's all come in from the hands of Dexter over the last six months. It's combining the two together. It's about playing the objective. And even with this player disadvantage initially, it's Liaz, it's Dexter who are locked out behind all this utility that waste so much time, secure the kills, make sure that Vexite can come back over alongside ins. They completely lock Atox out. Yeah, that waste of time is significant because the smoke fades, suddenly everyone's exposed, you can't sit up in the post plants. And now you're rushing somewhere, surely. Look at this buy. It's all you got to work with in this final round. They're gonna spread out early. They can pop quickly onto a site. Cabal is actually going to put that pressure on at A, the first instance. More patient. They're just trying to guarantee that there won't be an over rotation onto this bomb site, but with Cabal working his way over towards this smoke, the execute's about to come forward. Yeah, and it's actually worked. This presence they've shown in mid and Outside of A, it's brought Dexter over and he's very committed to the A site. There's no one kind of in mid that's close by. I'm surprised that Molly goes forward. I feel like they're, in fact, just again, further trying to secure the idea that it's just poking and prodding. It's not going to be the commitment, but at least Alistair's here with the orc. Yeah, now Dexter's come back. You've shown that you're interested in this site, that there's presence over here. And that's enough with the silence on A to bring back the IGL. As you mentioned, Alistair here doesn't have a line, but oh, Dobu. Looks like you want to go through that. That Molotov is so good. Leas is forced off and they run through the fire. Alistair actually finds that kill and Dexter gets his, but the bomb is down. Alistair has a player locked in towards jail. There's one flash and the, Alistair's the one who works in the next and now just picks up some more. Alistair trying to get through this molly. It doesn't quite happen. Everyone has to go soon for Greyhound. There we go, the flash forward. Popping to the Deagle just to give space, jumping around the corner, allowing the trade. And the flashbang from Dexter is great in setting them up. The Tech 9, you can almost see it happening for a moment. But it's Greyhound who will take a two round lead at the half, and that is without the pistol. Another one of these really good retakes from Greyhound as well. They just count it down. We go with the flashbangs, three, two, one, a double swing from CT and Temple. And it's just playing by numbers out maneuvering atox in very difficult and spread out positions in that after plant given the weaponry that they had so seven five it's a good amount to work with but for atox there's one thing they're known for here in this lower bracket run and that is resilience they've shown it on ancient to force us here in the first place 
And now they're looking to rebuild. A pistol, if they win that, they're just a hop, skip, and a jump away from making the scoreline level. You gotta believe with how this pistol rounds are going. They are favored going into it. Do a Greyhound pull out. There's a lot of utility for a sight take here. It's all heading over to A, which is where a lot of these Atox players are headed. They have the read. They're pushing. They're very close. Playing anti flash, trying to sell up the dual Berettas and Zesta. Kabul might even take first contact here. Oh, this could be devastating for Greyhound. A jump around the corner with the bomb committed. Vexai gets his kill and makes it three. Vexes them at the first hurdle. Accuracy forced off. You found Dobu. And despite the perfect setup to counter Greyhound's play, you cannot stop Vexite when he is on a tear like this. And he's not slowing down. He wants more jump around and it's Alistair to secure Greyhound with eight. Really nice work there. And what's good as well is they don't overthink things. You've already got Dexter there in mid and cut off the rotations. There was a moment, a brief pause where they could have maybe slowed things down and reset off the back of the Vexite triple. But no, instead they commit completely into the bomb site. It's completely the right thing to do. They don't second guess it, Greyhound. Insane stuff from Vexai, who has been a highlight for Greyhound across these maps. And Atox have forced. But Greyhound did the same and it didn't work out. Ooh. But Mick, well, he's not falling to any USPs or anything like that. No, he takes the first kill. Nice shot from Mick. Gives Atox a little bit of breathing room. He gives something for Greyhound to think about. Smoke. They now respect the fact that there's weapons invested into this round for Atox. And it feels like a, a similar fate of the pistol. And a similar style of round that Atox were pulling out against Greyhound. The grouping outside A. The late lurk in towards middle. Greyhound wants to make sure they've got as much control as possible before they execute to the bomb site. Flashbang forward, but nothing behind it. Going to deter Inns and Vexite on their crawl. Now the smoke through towards heaven. That's going to isolate these fights. Good counter smoke. Inns looking to go through and accuracy. Walking up through, but spotted on out. And now Cabal is known in Vexite with the AK. Very favored in these fights, and he's having no issues with them. Leaz is late. Lurk in towards mid. Net success. The nine for Greyhound, most definitely. Great shot from Mick, continuing to find impact, but three alive for Greyhound. And that was the force. Oh! And that's your eco. And now they're getting loud. And the interesting part about this is the scores on the doors for Atox. You take a look at the kills, and yet again, it, it feels like the way that they faltered on Inferno, they were relying a lot on the youngsters, the inexperienced players that have been brought in to this roster. Yet on Ancient, it was all Dobu, it was all Cabal, really at the helm and orchestrating things. This time, it's not happening that way. And they're being rolled over right now. Something's got to give. Something needs to change in the next couple of rounds. The next gun round is the most important for Atox. Otherwise, might be on the door of elimination. Accuracy is saving for the AWP into the next round, so that's going to be his intention. Having a fantastic map on Anubis. Stack over towards eight. Inns in charge of locking this one down. Dexter with the MAC-10 can go on the scouting mission. Potentially brings it into this round, knowing that should just be the USPs. It's going to be throw on one. And the Galil, thankfully, plenty of bullets in the chamber. Finds three before he's dealt with. Now Vexite, the target practice as Greyhound find double digits. 
Yeah, good call in there by Dexter again. It's just such a simple round. You know the economy isn't going to be there. So you send yourself out to, to gather this information. You use the SMG to claim space. And it was what was working on that T side. Just uh, a lot of the basics, but doing them to the highest degree. And it's something that Atox was really struggling with in that first map. But now here come the guns. Here comes that AWP accuracy. He saved for it, but now he needs to deliver. And it's Dester alongside him that I want to see some big moments from. He was the big deliverer when they demolished Tai Lu, when they sent Tai Lu home. It was that CT side that was so prolific, as we kind of spoke about. Unfortunately for Greyhound, this pause is a little bit untimely as well because they've got the momentum. They're in touching distance of continuing their run. Remember, this isn't the qualification game yet. Despite all the adversity faced by both of these teams in the series, it's Lin Vision that waits in the wings. Tough opponent to have to take down. So they already proved their worth in the upper bracket run, just falling to Mongols this morning. Unspot remaining between these three teams. Open for the chance to represent your organization at the first ever Counter Strike 2 major in Copenhagen. If it is Greyhound that goes on to win this series, then. You've got Mongolian representation, then it'd be the battle between China and Australia for that second spot. But imagine the storyline of two Mongolian squads making it through. What a statement that is for the region. So much strong talent we've seen come out of it time and time again. Not just one wonder squad, no, we've seen multiple players rise and fall among the various organizations that have represented Mongolia on the world stage. Atox looking to be amongst them. Also just kind of reinforces kind of how good the Mongols look whenever they make a roster change. There's such a, a depth of talent in that region. And Atox is surely showing us. But for Greyhound right now, there's one talent shining bright among the rest, Vexite. Performing exceptionally well. 17 and 8 right now. The player that has had to learn a lot on the biggest stages and is finally coming into his element and developing and maturing under Dexter's leadership. Get underway. Freyhound three rounds away from eliminating Atox. This gun round for the CTs is everything in Dobu. Dinked down early by the Galil and forced off the line. So a very similar round again. Like it's, it's just pure default from Greyhound. They've got the space out towards A main early. Inns is just hoping for a push. Dex is applying the pressure in towards middle. And meanwhile, there's players that reside outside of B main, hoping and praying that Atox go for one of these pushes. Try and take that space because that's where they were having the success on Ancient when they were dictating the flow of some of these gunfights. But sitting back, sitting passive, you're playing right into Greyhound's trap. A double up in towards middle now. Dexter continues to apply pressure. Greyhound have a whole pack assembled outside of A. Dexter even going for a spam in towards dark. That's a fun one. It did work as well because it brought accuracy forward. Away from A temporarily. Nades being lined up. Bomb is making its way from Rugs. This will be the A hit. As the HE brings out, accuracy steps forward. Cabal about to be smoked off. On the line for the spam. But they dodge it. And in runs through accuracy. Back turn. Not ready for that spacing. Cabal needs something. Needs anything. But Alistair won't allow it. And with Dobrius HP, they need a save. They need more chances, but they're slowly running out. And the walls are closing in as well. Keep your eye on Liaz, because he's here, Zesta. Will at least alleviate some of the pressure, release the grip around Atox's neck just a tad. 
so important they hold on to these weapons. So important they give themselves more lifelines. But it's Greyhound with another devastating blow to A. And you look at the variation, you look at how Aatox is set up, it's exactly the same way as before. And Greyhound just run through the smoke. They know what to expect. They completely catch these players unawares. Play an anti, not ready for pure contact fights. Still going back and forth, committing a large number of bodies in a Greyhound, but they'll only find one because Mick will hit the headshot on Vex site. One might be enough though. <laughs> only two survive. The AWP was kept over at the very least. After all the emphasis put on bringing it out, I'm kind of shocked this is the first time out for Aatox. Yeah, that's true. It really should have come in a lot earlier. I understand maybe saving one in case it runs deep, but the fact you've not used a single breather. Coach is getting very animated. Then trying to rally the troops. Things are starting to fall out of their grip. This is weird. He's holding on. The Zesta doesn't. Greyhound had so much money. You could dub whatever you want over that. It's really interesting as well, just kind of watching who is taking the first point of contact for Aatox and a lot of these defensive scenarios because normally it was Cabal or it was Dobu, just taking a, a lot of the initial contact. But because they're having a little bit more of a tougher time here, they aren't really willing to get involved as much. It's always been accuracy that's been in the front line. And as a result, kind of a, a substitution of who's taking the contact first, who's feeling the, the most confident, can be a little bit of a detriment, especially if you're not ready for it. It's doing so much work over towards A main. He's always keeping interest here. Putting the pressure on and establishing control early. Vexai trying to do the same in dark and successfully does force Mick off. And also by forcing Mick off, you've also brought the A rotation that was over middle. So Dobu's left, he's come over to reinforce B. Next, there's an opportunity. The A player needed to get that kill, or at least the contact. Survival is perfect, but not happening in dark. Oh. It's Vex Sight. A triple threat, and that's potentially the knockout punch for Aatox. In finds his, and that's going to be series points secured. Vex Sight. What else can you say? Australia's newest talent. An insane triple kill. Completely dismantles Aatox. And you start to wonder, that double overtime, the fight back for Aatox, would they have enough gas left in the tank for Anubis? Something doesn't look like that way at the moment. And Cabal just helplessly trying to hold on to his weapon. There's already a player in close proximity. Inns is over at Rugs. Cabal's going to be caught completely lacking anything. No weapons, nothing. Three and a half thousand on all of these players. Greyhound, this is the best chance to close. The Aatox, you start to think that all of the energy that went into Ancient just to keep this dream alive and now starts to falter. A strong start, but a slow finish. Seven opportunities for Greyhound to close and lock themselves in a spot versus Lin Vision for the Major. And we're going back to what works. Yet again, flashes in towards A main, taking the control. This time Dexter accelerating up middle. They force his Cabal away into a tricky fight. At least Dobu is here in mid. Seems aware of Dexter. But yeah, spots out the aggressive Mick who's gone so deep up. And yeah, there's Dobu finding Dexter. So what he was looking for, an opening pick. This is rough for Liaz now, because where Dobu got the kill in towards middle, he hasn't got the support of Dexter. It also means that another player has to come over to try and help. Dobu finally failed. Kabul just round the pillar, gets traded out by Alistair. And Vexite still doing the damage in mid. It's a player advantage to Greyhound. And take a look at Alistair. He's got all of the control at A. 
the backside. Look at him go. He's found another. And Zesta, who looks so strong when Atox on that lower bracket run starts it against Tai Lu, one of the favorites to go through deep. And now he's all that remains of Atox. Backside and Leah is going to scramble over to B off that contact bomb to be planted and a retake required. No kit. His position known. He has to take his time. Doesn't know where Vexite and Liaz have gone to. They're both doubled up in towards main. Without a smoke, just a Molotov, it's not going to be enough to disrupt them to allow this defuse. He needs to find both fights and time is running out. The Molotov goes in towards Dark. To tap the bomb, but now the fight can come through. First comes in, but a Vexite to close. Four in the round and Greyhound survive the test of Atox. Yeah, Vex, I felt inevitable towards the closing stages of that game. Coming in and honestly bailing Greyhound out. It was a fantastic response from Atox on Ancient, but unfortunately their journey ends here. But they've got to be so proud.